now let us take these examples the question is find the candidate keys in these relations uh, these are the question number one is we have the relation r a b c d e the functional dependencies which are given they are a b can determine c c can determine d and b can determine e second is the second question is the relation is r a b c d e and the functional dependencies are a b can determine c c can determine d b can determine e h or e a okay so next question is like this assuming that the relation is uh, r a b c d functional dependencies are a b can determine c d and a can determine b option uh, fourth question is the relation is uh, let me find a better question huh. so r a b c d and e the functional dependencies are a can determine b b c can determine d and d can determine a e next question is the relation is like this r a b c d e functional dependencies are a b can determine c c can c d can determine e and d e can determine b these are the options which are given okay now let us take the first option let us find what is uh, the candidate key which we can get from this relation so it is r a b c d e that means there are five attributes and these are the functional dependencies which are given so what is the shortcut check the right hand side of every production so you can check the right hand side of every functional dependency and see what are the attributes which are not present so you can clearly see c is present d is present and e is present ab is not present so let us take the ab closure so if ab closure cannot identify everything then we have to add other attributes with ab but if ab closure can identify everything so obviously ab is a minimal uh, you know candidate key or you can say it is a minimal key in in the cases when ab cannot determine everything then only we take other attributes okay so ab closure will take ab can determine ab itself that is trivial ab can determine c c can determine d and you can see b can determine e so you can identify everything therefore ab is the key for this relation and this is the only key here we don't have more than one keys for this relation now let us check the next option a b c d is there and uh, let us see what is what is not present in the right hand side we have c d e and a c d e and a they are present so only thing which is left is b so let us take b closure with the help of b i can identify b with the help of b i can identify e a now with the help of a b i can identify c and with the help of c i can identify d therefore b is the candidate key or you can say b is the key for this relation it is also key it is also a super key okay we cannot have more than one keys in this relation because if i add try to add one other attribute to b then b will become a super key it will not be a candidate key or you can say key, it will not be a key right so whenever i am going to say key that means i am i mean we have candidate key okay next is relation r a b c d now in this relation let us identify what is not present in the right hand side it is c is present d is present and b is present only thing which is not present is a so if i take a closure then i will be identify equal to identify a with the help of a i will be able to identify b and with the help of a b i will be able to identify c d therefore a is a candidate key or you can say it is a super key in the same way okay right because every candidate key is a super key now next relation b c d in the right hand side we have b we have d we have a we have e only thing which is not present is c now you can see if i take c closure then i will be only i will only be able to identify c i will not be able to identify anything other than c so c cannot be a candidate key as well as c cannot be a super key so here in this case we have to add other attributes to c so that we can see if we can get a candidate key or not now the first attribute here is a so let us see if we find ac closure now with the help of ac closure i can identify ac with the help of a i can identify b with the help of bc i will be able to identify d and with the help of d i will be able to identify a that means e so uh, ac is a uh, candidate key okay there are there can be more than one candidate key for this relation let us try to identify if i add b with c so bc closure with the help of b i can identify b and c itself 
with the help of bc i will be able to identify d with the help of d i will be able to identify a so i will be able to identify everything so bc is also a candidate key now let us add uh, d to this c so dc closure with the help of d i can identify d and c with the help of d i can identify ae and uh, after ae with the help of ac we do not have or with the help of a i can identify b therefore this is also a candidate key next is e so if i take ec if i take ec closure then i will be able to identify ec with the help of uh, you know with ec will i be able to identify anything else uh, with the help of e okay uh, c i will not be able to identify anything else because e can identify itself c can identify itself but it will not be able to identify anything else so ec cannot be a key right so here in ec we have to add other attributes to make it a key but if uh, if we add an attribute aac now it will not be a candidate key or it will not be a key why because only with the help of ac i can identify everything right if i add, add b to bec still it will not be a key if i add c uh, if i add d so dec will not be a key in the same way if i add other attribute it will not be a key so here in this case you can clearly see see why they, these cannot be a key because they are not minimal okay because with the smaller set of them i can identify everything so here we have three candidate keys which are possible three candidate keys which are possible so here you can clearly see that uh, these all these candidate keys are super key or if i take a super set of these keys for example if i take a super set of these like a c b or a b c that will be able to identify everything so these all are super keys there are other super keys which are possible but there are three candidate keys so candidate keys is a subset which is having three keys out of these three keys i can take any key and i can make it as a primary key okay that you already know what is a primary key we'll see that in the later examples okay now let us look at the last question in the last question they are saying we have a b determines c c d determines e and d e determines b so we have e c e and d on the uh, right hand side c e and b a and d is not there therefore if i take a d closure let us see how what are the things which we can identify with the help of a i can identify a only with the help of d i can identify d only will not be able to identify everything therefore ad is not a candidate key so we have to add other attributes with ad to make it a key so let me rub this one and uh, coming back to this okay so we were discussing about the question number 5 okay we already discussed this question already discussed so we are discussing about the question number 5 so i told you that in the right hand side we have c e and b c e and b ad is not there so if we take ad closure then ad closure can only identify ad it cannot identify everything so we have to add some other attributes so other attributes are b c and e if i take a b d closure then a b d closure with the help of ab a b d closure can identify itself with the help of ab i can identify c with the help of cd i can identify e therefore it can identify everything as therefore it is a candidate key let us add other attribute which is c if i take a c d closure with the help of cd i can identify e with the help of a it, it is trivial and with the help of de i can identify b so it is also a candidate key if i take the third one which is uh, a e d closure with the help of a e d i can identify a e d with the help of de i can identify b with the help of a b i can identify c therefore it is also a candidate key therefore there are three candidate keys which are possible in this relation okay again the set of candidate keys is a smaller set as compared to the set of super keys okay so see you can uh, take lot of questions like this i have already taken five examples here there are so many examples which are possible okay so uh, we will do the previous year questions then you can take the examples but i think this much is enough uh, to understand how many keys or how many candidate keys are possible okay